This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. Uh, My name is Joe. I'm calling from Phoenix, Arizona. I found your podcast by accident uh, a few weeks ago, and I've been listening ever since. Um... I heard a uh, podcast uh, where Tony mentioned something about DIY in England and uh, um, if they ever have problems with ghosts or anything like that, and it prompted me to call you guys. Um, I was in the Air Force for 25 years, and during that time, I was stationed in England two times, and uh, the first time I was there... um, the story I'm going to tell you, it didn't happen to me, but it has to do with uh, uh, a building that was renovated and um, some stuff with uh, ghosts that happened. But anyway, the, the base would arrange for trips, uh, and they did this haunted pub crawl around Christmas time, or around Halloween time, rather, excuse me. And uh, what this pub crawl was is that we get on basically the English version of a Greyhound bus and we drive around to, to all these haunted places and there was a tour guide and he would tell us the story of the place we were going to go to before we'd go in and then uh, we'd go in and have a few uh, beers or drinks or whatever, get it back on the bus and go to the next place. Well, one of the places uh, that they took us to had a really interesting story and I wanted to tell you guys about it. Um, a lot of the pubs and inns are really old buildings that, are, that at one time may have had another purpose and they were being renovated. Uh, well, this one place that the tour took us to was this place called the Old Mill. And what it was, was uh, it was uh, a building next to a river that used a, a, a water wheel or a paddle wheel, uh, the power of the river water flowing to grind uh, wheat into flour. And it had, this building was built like maybe 150, 200 years ago. Well, the guy that bought this building, it was in the, the late 70s, he uh, put all his money down, bought this building, gutted it out, and he was going to make it into a restaurant. And um, while they were gutting the building out, the workers, uh, they were ripping out the walls, and they found a mummified cat inside the wall. So one of the workers took this cat out and he he showed it to the owner of the building and the owner thought, oh wow, that looks like uh, kind of an antique. And uh, so he took it out of the wall and and mind you, at this point in the renovation, they were were like uh, 75% done with this building supposedly. And um, so he took this mummified cat out of the wall and he took it to an antique store and he showed it to the guy at the antique store and he, to see if he'd be interested in buying it and the guy bought it and uh, that night the the old mill had a fire and uh, basically gutted the building out so all the work and money they expected invested in this building just went up in smoke so somebody told him that this cat must have been like uh, guarding this building from from evil spirits. So he like freaked out. He went back to the the antique store and he bought the cat back from the antique store and uh, brought it back to his building and they they were going to start over building the building. Well, the funny thing is, this was the next day. That night, the antique store burned to the ground. (laughs) So, uh, they put this this cat, this mummified cat, they put it back where they found it, and they put, like, a brass frame with a piece of plexiglass, and when you walk into this restaurant, into the lobby area where you wait to be seated, you can see this cat in the wall, and uh, you know the story. 
there for. So, uh, yeah, I thought that uh, Tony might be interested in that. I thought it was kind of interesting. Personally, myself, I've never seen a ghost. Um, I believe they exist, and by listening to your show, I think I've learned a lot about why ghosts uh, are around and why they behave the way they do. I don't think there's just one type of ghost, and uh, maybe someday I'll see a ghost, and I might regret wanting that. But um, I also believe in guardian angels. Uh, uh, I'll quickly tell you a short story. Again, this didn't happen to me. It happened to my wife. But when I was living with my parents, uh, my mom was very devout Catholic. I don't remember why she brought it up, but she said that uh, that I had guardian angels watching over me. And I was like, oh, okay. And I never really thought much about it. And then um, later on in life, uh, I went to see uh, a psychic lady, which, by the way, was in England as well. And... Um, I won't go into that, the long story as to why I did that. Uh, but I only I, I only went and saw her once. But she told me some stuff there was no way she would have known about my family and why I was named as I was. And it just freaked me out. It was amazing. But anyway, among the things that she said was that she said that, that I had guardian angels looking after me. And uh, a few years later, after I got married to my current wife, um, one morning my wife told me that uh, she woke up in the middle of the night and uh, standing in a corner of the room was this lady and uh, my mother had said to me and I would heard that guardian angels are either angels or their relatives that have passed on and she said this lady was an older lady and she was just standing there in like a nightgown uh, from maybe 50 years ago or something. And she was just standing there, just uh, staring at my wife. And my wife, I said, did you feel scared, afraid or anything? She said, no. And uh, did she say anything or do anything? She said, no, she was just standing there. And, uh, and my wife just went back to sleep. And um, I think that that woman was a guardian angel. And, uh, and I think that's what my wife saw because it, she wasn't afraid um, in any way of this. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, so I, I believe in God. I think God isn't the way we, we think God is. It's a lot more complicated than that. I believe in guardian angels and angels and all that. But um, I just thought I'd share that with you, and I uh, love your show, and uh, keep up the good work, and thanks a lot. Bye. This has been a Grave Confession. From the Grave Talks. To share your Grave Confession experience with the paranormal or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813.